Hi, this is Dr. Conrad Miller, March 30th, 2011, ongoing crisis in Fukushima. The president of the Tokyo Electric Power Company, he's not playing around with geisha girls, he's worried. He ac actually is in a hypertensive crisis in a hospital in Tokyo right now, he's so worried. The reactors are further in crisis. There's radioactive water now that's so hot that the workers can't work anymore. The dosimeters that they use to detect how much radiation is coming off the water is beyond the protect the measurement that these dosimeters can detect. A thousand millisieverts is the level they can detect. Ten millisieverts is a rem. A thousand is a hundred rem. Five hundred rem is fatal. So really, they can't really even stand there because they don't really know how much is coming off. They say that between 2,000 and 6,000 is what burned the legs of those two or three workers at the plant. We also know now that the fuel rods are starting to melt down in reactor two, maybe in reactor three, and some of that radiation is leaking out into the water, going into the ocean. It's going to get into the fish, the iodine, for example. And so you have to be careful about buying any kelp, for example, from Japan, really anything from Japan. I don't think you want to buy anything from Japan right now, even cars, because they could have radiation in the cars. And uh, when they detect radiation with Geiger counters, they don't detect the particles specifically. They detect gamma radiation, which is like x-rays that come off as heat, for example. But they don't detect radiation from plutonium and other radionuclide specifically, but they have found, finally, plutonium on the ground in the soil in uh, the limits of the plant sites there, and so you know it's got to be off the sites, you know it's got to be in the water, and you know it's probably in the air that's circling the northern hemisphere right now in those plumes, which they say, which they say is harmless, which is terrible to say because a microgram of plutonium can cause lung cancer and it'll take 20 or 30 years most of the time to develop. So people will develop that, and we know the plutonium's there, so it's a big worry. So uh, for Chernobyl, which is the anniversary is coming up on April 26th for the 25th year, we know that 700,000 people tried to control the radiation and do all they could to prevent uh, a greater calamity from occurring, but many of those people are the ones that died prematurely from cancer. So 700,000 liquidators, and maybe they have a 1,000 workers so far at the plants in Fukushima. So uh, they're going to need a lot more people because they can't take the doses of radiation because we don't want them to die, and many of them will from radiation sickness. And um, what else is what I want to tell you? Oh, the plants in Georgia, in America. Guess which company is the one that's helping out with the building and taking $10 billion of American money? They're not taking all $10 billion, probably half, maybe more. Tokyo Electric Power Company. The same ones that run the Fukushima plant. And remember, we have 23 of the same plants in America, and we have the Indian Point plant in New York, with the radiation plume going toward the Hudson River that the governor has asked to be closed, Governor Cuomo, which could contaminate New York City forever and cripple like, the economy of the United States forever if we have a little meltdown like they're having in Fukushima. So think about nuclear power and how hot that water is in Fukushima right now. Conrad Miller, signing off.